<laughs> um, well, welcome. And I don't really have much to say other than today. I want to show you and walk through me potting this little cactus in here. And I just figured, why not film it? Show you guys how this is done because I know that the people I've told that I have cactuses I need to repot are like, how do you do that? Um, so I've got a couple of things here. One, a drink, just, you know. And then two, I've got this, which is what ultimately this is going to be the pretty facade for what the cactus is going to be in. And then I've got these, which are just little tweezers that I use for my succulents. Uh, since this cactus is so small, I figured that it would be useful to use those. And then I've got in here some little stones. Not sure if I'll be using them or not, but I have them just in case. And then over on this side of the table, paper towels because it's always a mess when you try repotting anything. And also with a cactus, they do have spines. You don't want to prick yourself, but you also don't want to break all the spines off. So. Uh, paper towels or a little towel just are really helpful to keep yourself safe um, and also the cactus. Um, I've got two cups here. I probably am only going to be using the one in the small cup. Um, what I plan on doing, I've already got some dirt in here that is left over from something else. Uh, so I have to decide if I want to try using this or if I'm going to use some fresh potting soil. And this is going to fit right in here so that there is a sort of protective barrier between the pot that the cactus is in, which is just going to be this plastic pot because quite frankly I don't have any other little plastic pots right now, and then this. This does already have a hole poked in the middle on the bottom. Um, it's not a huge one, but it's enough that it's not going to just be soaking in water. And then if you look at what I already have this in, You'll see that there's sand on the top and there are little other white stones on the top. And that's because succulents and cactuses or cacti, um, they all naturally just grow in places that there's multiple different types of um, ground. Uh, so it's a mixture of soil, rocks, sand, <laughs> desert like environments. So I've got all three of those things here on this chair. That some potting soil. I did get specifically cactus and palm and citrus potting soil. There is a different mix for different types of plants that you really want to actually listen to. You can't just assume every plant's going to grow the same in the same potting soil. So I'm going to put that in this cup up here. And here are just little river pebbles that have been broken up into small pieces. And then I've got Sand. So I use these for all of my succulents um, and my other cactus, which is actually where this little baby came from. And I broke that little piece off a while ago, and it has just in the past couple weeks sprouted up. So it's back here. But yeah, all of these back here, all the succulents all have the layer of dirt, the sand, the stones, and they're all thriving right now. So I'm going to hopefully keep that going. So you can see here the different roots in the current state of the little cactus. And we'll just keep going on from here. So to get started, oh, I also have a spoon because it is just helpful to have a spoon to scoop things out of. Um, I'm noticing that this is pretty damp still from the last time that I used it, which was fairly frequently, and um, I had I basically planted something that I was hoping that would root, and it didn't, so I'm just going to dump this out. And I don't need to be like super careful about cleaning this out completely, because all that's going back in there is more dirt. So I am just going to root in here. I'm going to put this, hopefully you can see me kind of that up. Alright. So I want to get enough in here 
got it. This leaves space. So, two little pockets. So that should be enough. That will give me a layer of sand to go on the top and then some pebbles as well. Um, pretty sure this is about right. I do just eyeball things. I don't have like a ratio of how much dirt, how much sand, how much whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. So. Okay, sorry. I just want to make sure that this is still filming. This is my first time doing this on my camera, and quite frankly, I didn't know if there was supposed to be red light or not. So, sorry about that. I just wanted to check. I, now that I have my dirt, I'm going to dump this out, which, in order to not get it all. Okay, so <laughs> right after I checked if the camera was still working, I basically sat back down and said a few more words, and then it cut out. So to give you a brief overview of what is not on film, because I completely missed it, I dumped out the cactus, I put it onto the paper towel, I separated the little cactus from the little succulent, and I basically just held it up so you could see it. Um, and that's where now it's going to jump to me showing you a close up that I filmed with my phone and um that's where we left off so sorry okay so you can see that there's this root ball here and then it's really got one main root system and then this little guy kind of just hanging out there uh and then there's the full thing so i mean if you look i don't know it's kind of weird but you can see how tall it's gotten and then if you see this little um, fat part where then it all of a sudden gets skinny and then starts growing tall that little fat part there that's how tall it originally was when I plucked it off of the original plant so now I'm just gonna go ahead and get it in here and then throw in the sand and the stones now that you've seen about how big the roots are and about how tall the cactus itself is, and it's still really small, you can tell, um, the next thing that we do is actually put it in the dirt. So I've already scooped the dirt, you saw when I scooped it earlier. What I actually do is I take the spoon, um, sorry I didn't get this on film either, but um, I take the spoon, I scoop a little bit of dirt out of the center, and then I basically just gently place the cactus into that spot so that the roots can go in there um, and then what I like to do is when I'm putting it in and trying to get the roots down deep I actually use the tweezers to just kind of poke down the roots into the dirt and that just helps get them a little bit rooted more than just sitting um, and it also isn't quite as damaging as trying to like uh, like poke them down with something really thick. I just find that the thinner um, tweezers or even like you could try using a toothpick but something with a little bit of like a little depth to it but not a whole lot that way you can poke them down get them in the dirt and have them sort of reaching rather than just sitting there inside all bunched together. Okay so I have it in here and you can see that that's the base of the cactus. So right now it still probably needs a little bit more dirt in there to keep it upright. You can see where the roots start. There you, go. you can see where the roots start. And then it's just got to stand in there like that. So I need to add a little bit more soil so that it will stand upright. Um, but then once it does, I'll just add in the sand. And honestly, I don't need to add too much soil in because the sand will also help with it standing up. So. I am just going to use my fingers now because, quite frankly, I think I can do this without poking myself or hurting the plant. So I'm just adding in a little bit more dirt around it, and then once I get enough in there, this is a messy job, by the way, um, you are going to get dirt on your hands. There's kind of, like, it's hard to avoid. I'm not going to say there's no avoiding it, but I certainly don't care enough to like put 
gloves or something on to avoid it. So this should be good. Now that I've got it sort of standing upright with just the dirt, I'll put in a layer of sand. So you can see that now. I am not super careful with this. I literally just dump it around the top. And I like to do enough so that you can no longer see the dirt and all you see is sand. But I also try to make it fairly even all the way around. Um, that's that. So you can see the side now too. Um, and that is just a little layer of sand on the top, but enough to help it up. The last thing to add are the little pebbles, and these are actually really helpful to water the cactus because if you water directly on sand, the sand just kind of spreads out, but if you water where the stones and pebbles are, then it kind of diverts the water. And then add that to this. So I've added some pebbles. I'm trying to decide if I want to add more or not. Sorry, I'm moving a lot with my hand. If I rest my elbow, that'll help. Um, this is still kind of wanting to fall over a little bit. Hopefully once I water it, it will help the roots spread out. And these pebbles should be enough that the sand won't just go everywhere. Ooh, yeah, this is like not the most happy. I always find that cacti are like difficult to know if they're really repotted well at first because they never really want to stand up on their own until after the first water and you give it a day or so to let the roots adjust and dig back in. But I always like to just make it as upright as possible before watering it. That way I know it doesn't just like topple over. So there it is, um, and now I just need to find a place to put it. I've got all these little other guys over here. I'm thinking I can kind of squeeze it in here, something like that, like if I move this over without making anything fall over. I don't know if it'll get enough sun right here. But we shall see. I'm going to give it some water, and then it will eventually grow up to be another one of those guys. Because that's where it came from. So that's what it'll turn into. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and hopefully, if you have a cactus, you now know how to repot it just a little bit it's pretty much the same method even with a big one like that I've repotted this guy uh, three or four times because when I initially got it uh, it actually wasn't that much bigger than the one I just repotted so same method you might want to use like a dish towel or um, like a washcloth rather than paper towels to grip it uh, and you definitely want to have a bigger work area than what I do have right now or what I use for this little little guy but I mean it's all the same and that's the same also for these little succulents as well I've got this one now too that was in the same guy like the same little terrarium as the little cactus I just repotted and I'm gonna go ahead and put him back in there because his roots are still super tiny, super tiny, but um, it's definitely growing well in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back, let it keep growing, and put it up with its friends. Um, got a kind of three-part thing going up there right now. And that's it. So if you liked seeing this, let me know. I don't know what I'm doing with my YouTube channel yet. I'm just kind of experimenting, trying things, showing you guys just stuff that I end up doing anyway, um, like repotting my plants because they are growing, thankfully. And yeah, that's it. See ya.